Thank you for joining us tonight. I am Paige Holsey. We begin with a developing story in St. Charles where crews have been on the scene of a deadly fire for several hours now. News 4's Alexis Zotos joins us live from the scene. So Alexis, what have you learned from fire investigators? Well, Paige, I can tell you right now, the state fire marshal just arrived on scene. I t I'm told that that is protocol for any time there is a deadly fire. Here is what we know right now. Take a look at some of the video when we arrived here on the scene in the city of St. Charles on Pembroke Drive. We know one man is dead. Investigators tell me that neighbors called 911 when they saw smoke and flames coming out of the mobile home. Investigators say they got here. It was a difficult fire to get inside that home because there was a lot of content inside the house is what the fire battalion chief told me. He says right now they're trying to figure out if there were working smoke detectors inside. This is a, a tragic, unfortunately timed uh, reminder of that. We always talk about changing your clocks, change your smoke detector batteries. Uh, this is an unfortunate situation that occurred and we can't guarantee that that was a, a contributing factor, but this is just a reminder that the risk of fire is real and we need to do everything we can to make sure we have smoke detectors that work in our house and that we can get out if something like this would happen. I've spoken to some neighbors here in this neighborhood who tell me that the man did live alone. They believe he was around uh, the 30s in the age range. Uh, and they also tell me he moved in about a year or less ago. Investigators right now are still working to identify him. They haven't released that to us yet. And again, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Live in the city of St. Charles, Alexis Otos, News 4.